Sonic fans. I've been having a lot of fun with these swing flag videos and I'm excited to be bringing you some more. So one of the things you really need to know when working with a double swing flag is how to open the swing flags at the right moment without letting the audience see that you're opening them and without getting them all tangled up and having a major mess of tragedy on the field. Whenever I spin double swing flags, I always roll them over once so that they stay together. This is going to heighten the effect whenever you do open them because it makes it look a lot more like there's one swing flag than if you're trying to spin and they keep separating like this. Here they're going to be able to tell, oh look, they have two swing flags, they're probably going to open them later, whatever. Well, but if you have them wrapped up together, they're not going to come apart and do that. It's a lot easier to hide that effect until the moment you want it to happen. My favorite way of doing this is to do it with a turn. So as I'm turning, I have both hands on the poles. I turn to face the back. This is where the separation happens. Then when I face front, I can open them. Let me show you how I'm doing this though. So I've got my two poles here. I'm unrolling as I turn. Then when I get to the back, they're already completely unrolled now. And all I have to do is pull them apart as I open up to the front. So here I am. I'm turning and unrolling. And then I open them as I turn to the front. It's kind of like magic. One of the things you need to realize, if you have one-sided fabric, which is what I have here, it's shiny on this side, and then on this side, it's dull. I always want to have this shiny side to the audience, unless, of course, it's choreographed in that, like, one side's black and one side's silver, or you want to give a different effect or whatever. That's fine. When my flags are together, though, I have them both with the shiny side out. That way it looks like a shiny flag on both sides. When I separate them, though, if I'm holding them both with shiny side out and then I open them, my dull side is going to be to the audience. So one of the things you want to be aware of if you're using one-sided fabric is that you need to cross your hands over and grab the opposite one so when you open, the shiny side is still to the audience. So this was just a simple little trick in order to open your flags whenever you're going from using double flags that are put together to look like a single flag into double swing flags. I hope you enjoyed it. I am going to keep on working on some more swing flag videos for you guys. Um, I've also got some air blade videos and some other flag videos for you to enjoy for the rest of the summer. Um, I know Erica's gonna get some stuff in here, so we can't wait to keep working with you. Uh, keep sending us your comments, keep sending us your requests. We love to hear from our fans and keep spinning. And don't forget to share it with your friends. Color Guard is always more fun whenever you're on the